Live. News 8 at noon starts now. Right now, investigators are on the scene of a condo fire in New Haven. They're trying to figure out what caused the blaze that left more than a dozen people displaced. Thank you for joining us this noon. I'm Kent Pierce. Keith Coons has the afternoon off. That fire broke out the day after Christmas at the Harbor Landing Complex in New Haven. News 8's Stephanie Simone tells us what's happening right now in the investigation. A day after Christmas, dozens of neighbors at Harbor Landing, including children, are without a home. Within 20 minutes, the smoke was really pouring out of all of the apartments. Firefighters say this was the scene 1.30 yesterday afternoon, and that fire spread quickly, the roof even collapsing on the second floor. The chief says fire can hide in construction like this. Crews battled hot spots 12 hours after the flames started and will continue to look out for them today. And we'll rotate crews out throughout the day. That is the fire watch team, and what they do is make sure none of those hot spots flare up again. Now, later today, the building inspector will come out to see if this needs to come down. The structural engineer will have to tell us how that's interconnected, whether it's a complete loss for the entire section of that complex or whether they can salvage it. And investigators will join them. They believe it started on the first and second floors, but have not pinpointed exactly what sparked it. Okay. Neighbors are being oh, interviewed to help investigators figure that out. At the same time, those neighbors are trying to figure out where they're going to live. We were saddened, shocked, mainly shocked. The American Red Cross has helped at least 20 from this. Many are hoping they can get inside today to see if there's anything they can save. In New Haven, Stephanie Simone, News 8.